And I thought, that man is the busiest man alive. Why is he texting me? <laughs> so I pull over into the, the parking lot and I get the text message saying, congratulations, it's gonna be you. Like, you should be really proud. And I just started bawling in my car. Oh, you I was did. Like, ah! And I call my mom immediately. I'm like, mommy, I'm gonna be a dragon. Blah, just sobbing. and this is Italy Adventures and I'm an actor who interviews actors and I am so excited to be talking to Don Bennett. Hi. <laughs> and I know people have been ready to see Don because the last time I think I talked to you for like a hot minute and that was it. Mm -hmm. They were like, I want to see Don longer than that. So thank you for being back. Of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be back. And we're at Kamehameha. Mm -hmm. and she's just, just down the road for, from me. So, since we're at Kamehameha, we should start with your Dragon Ball character. Yeah. <laughs> Kale. It's Kale. And she's got this awesome poster. Woohoo! This awesome <laughs> print. So, wow. Kale, when did you, what year did you start voicing Kale? I might be wrong on this. It was either 17 or 2018. We're going to hold you to it. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> we'll use the Google machine. And then <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As we have found out, I'm not great with dates. Oh yes, we've had this debate all weekend. <laughs> this year, five of Kamehameha or four? I don't know. <sighs> we figured no. out it's five, but... Yes. Um, but yeah, so you're so good. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Were you so excited when you got ill? Uh, so I remember uh, when exactly it happened. Uh -huh. um, I was driving to Trader Joe's in Dallas. Oh, and hey, I got a, I got a text from Sabbath. Christopher Sabat, and I thought, that man is the busiest man alive. Why is he texting me? <laughs> so I pull over into the, the parking lot and I get the text message saying, congratulations, it's gonna be you. Like, you should be really proud. And I just started bawling in my car. Oh, you I was did. Like, ah! And I call my mom immediately. I'm like, mommy, I'm gonna be a dragon. Blah, just sobbing. So, and I still have the message. I saved oh, it. You did? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's special to me. Oh, yeah. Are you interested in voice acting or just if you're a voice actor, do you want to further your career? My name is John and I've taken classes from Elise Bowman and her classes are amazing. Uh, she can teach you anything from the ins and outs of the business, how to create a character from just looking at a picture and also just the voice acting 101 to set up a microphone and and set up a studio. All this has helped me and I know it can help you. If you want to learn more about this, go to EliseCoaches.com for more. Okay, so here's what we were talking about. I need to copy your voice, your cell voice. Oh. And I think I should do both. And I'll, I know I'll do terrible at probably both, but at least one. Okay. So, okay, so should I do small kale or yeah. big kale? Or both. both. Okay. Both. So Small Kale is kind of up here because she's really meek and quiet. But then when she like hulks out, she's like super low. Oh, uh, that'll be a really s big struggle. Okay, say a <laughs> small one. Anything. It can be a small line. Um, I just can't do it, Kalifa. I just can't do it, Kalifa. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> nice. And then um, as a big kill, the bloodbath starts with you. The bloodbath starts with you. That was really hard, and my voice is really dead. Wow. The I love power it. of your voice. I can, that is, that, you're a machine. That's awesome. Thank you, Thank you so much. Water, water, water. No. Oh. That was awesome. But you got so many cool things. Okay, you know what, oh, what to talk about next. I think we have to do Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah. So um, these two characters, uh, I voiced. Um, I, I provided the English voice for um, Marnie in Pokemon Twilight Wings, which you can watch on the Pokemon YouTube channel. And then um, I play um, Lusamine in Pokemon Evolutions, which is also on the YouTube channel. So, so yeah. much fun! Because you moved to LA. So mm -hmm. did you get these roles when you moved to LA? Yes. Okay. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. And did you? 
grow up watching Pokemon? I did. I thought I, I had seen that somewhere. <laughs> I, I watched Pokemon uh, when I was a kid, probably when I was like five, and it's weird because I think I first saw Pokemon when I was visiting family in the Philippines. So it was airing there and I saw it on a TV. It was like the, the Orange Islands arc, if anyone remembers that. It was, very, it was like the second season of Pokemon. Um, and then when I came back to the States, they started, they started showing um, like episode one and all that on, on I think it was Cartoon Network or Kids WB something. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's always I always love to hear from actors when they've grown up watching something, or I mean even watch something as an adult, and then you get to be part of the franchise. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was so stoked. <laughs> that's amazing. Thank okay, you. tell me about some of the other like my heroes. Sure. Actors. Okay, so this is uh, um, Setsuna Tokage from My Hero Academia. She is in class 1B, and she has this, like, cool uh, power or quirk that um, she can, like, separate her body into pieces and, like, yeah, like, just, so, I don't know, reach, like, far distances and all that stuff. That so, would be handy. Yeah, yeah. People compare her to, like, Buggy the Clown from One Piece. If you ever saw One Piece, oh, uh -huh. he can, like, separate his limbs and stuff, too. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 And then uh, this one is um, this is Chez. I play the, the protagonist Chez um, from Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. Uh, yeah, this one was really fun for me because um, I'd never I'd never been a protag in like a Nintendo game before. Oh, so that was awesome. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I love her. And then um, this one is a uh, Sodi Pop um, from the TikTok animation Chicken Nugget. He's just a little guy. Oh. He's just a little guy. Cute. He's a little gremlin. <laughs> I love him. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then we covered it. But I mean, well, we didn't really cover everything because she's voiced like a gazillion. And what I love, I mean, fans love her. But then, I mean, talking to directors and engineers, too, everybody loves you. Oh, my so, God. So, <laughs> I mean, she is the real deal, Aww. for sure. And I've had the pleasure of hanging out with you and attending a birthday party and all the things. So, she really is. <laughs> Give you some love publicly. Hi, I'm Austin Weiser. Are you interested in becoming a voice actor or learning more about the voice acting craft? I've taken classes from Elise Bowman. She has private and group classes that she teaches. And I've learned to hone my confidence as an actor, to really dive deep into characters, and to really have fun and experiment. Check out EliseCoaches.com and sign up today. But what's your favorite thing about doing all of this? I my goodness. I think one of one of my biggest favorite things lately is like getting to work with like the creators or like the clients and just hearing their excitement when they're like, "Oh my gosh, yeah, that's what I was envisioning." And it's like, "Oh, oh yay. I'm so glad, you know?" Um like um with Chicken Nugget, for example, um I work uh directly with the creator uh Kira Kapetsky, who plays Chicken, mm -hmm. uh the main character, and I had just um, asked her, like, hey, I love your show. Are you accepting demos right now? And she goes, here's this character. I'm like, okay. Oh, really? <laughs> cool. Yeah, she was so sweet. She's like, try this one. What would you do for this? I'm like, ugh. And she's like, great. <laughs> so. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And like, I love animation so much. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I think like she animates it, and then she also has a team of people. And I'm just, I don't know how to animate, but I, I'm just filled with wonder at seeing the process of animation and how cool everything looks. I so, know. Yeah. It really is cool when you get to see the process from beginning to end or even midway through. I've been, I've been able to do that and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm fascinated too. I'm like you. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I love it so much, like getting to work on that. Um, the, there was another show that I worked on called Epithet Race, where I got to work directly with the creator Brendan Blaber on that. And then we ended up like doing um, character songs because he's like, oh, you can sing. Let's make some country songs for my cowgirl in that show. So, wow. Yes, we should yeah. bring that up. She's an amazing singer uh, as well. You. <laughs> and you even directed singers on projects mm. too. Yes, you? yes. And where did the singing come from? You've been singing all your life? Uh, I, I've been, yeah, I have been singing all my life. 
Um, you guys can't see it on camera, but my mom is filming at the same time. <laughs> and um, she, she is the influence, because um, my mom was in a lot of singing groups. And so I would go with her to all of these, like, functions and stuff and I just got exposed to music from her. I got exposed to music through my dad who uh, he loved jazz and, and I ended up going to a jazz school. I went to Berklee College of Music. So yeah, that's that's where all my music experience comes from. And how have you sung in a lot of projects like anime, animation? I have sang in quite a few uh, anime projects and then I also like directed a bunch of them because uh, I, I took over for Brina when she retired from the position. Oh, okay. I knew I didn't realize you had taken over for her. I just yes. knew that you directed a lot of projects. Yeah. Talent. Aw, oh, thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> did you it. ever like? Is this what you wanted to do when you were growing up, or what? What did you imagine doing when you were older? Like, like voice acting and everything. Yeah, voice acting and singing. Um, yeah, I when I was a kid, I, I wanted to be a voice actor just because uh, when I was a kid. Uh, I saw um, an interview with Veronica Taylor, who was the original Ash Ketchum, and I thought, wait a minute, number one, Ash is voiced by a woman? And it yeah. was really cool. <laughs> yeah. And number two, this is a job. This is a job I could do. Now, um, I didn't get quite into it until college. Um, that's when like, I started working with engineering students at the school and doing like projects then, but it helped prepare me for when I finally did like try out for Funimation. It was really cool. really cool. Well connected. <laughs> I, I know. It's all connected. Well this has been so much fun. I could chat forever. I think we should pick a different character voice and say bye to anime adventures. <laughs> uh do you wanna try Sodi? Sure. I'll oh. try anything. Bye bye anime adventures. Bye bye anime adventures.